welcome back to day 5 of Mastering Figma in 10 days. If you're still watching this series and you're not subscribed, please kindly hit the subscribe button. Today we are going to learn about components. So to do that, we are going to use a button for that. So I'm going to create a button here, but this time we are going to be bringing the previous knowledge we've learned in day four. That's the auto layout. We want to create responsive buttons. So now after adding the text button, press shift A to add the auto layout and you'll get this prompt. So now after adding this, we need to add a few to our auto layout. Now let's change the color of the few to this. And you can go ahead and collect the selection color here, which is black and change it to white. Now the button is visible. Now, the next thing is, since this is an auto layout from the previous lesson, we looked at how we can manipulate the auto layout. So the spacing on the left and right, let's say we're making that 40. So you see, I have a better button now. And then the space on the top and bottom, let's just change that, but I prefer the 10. We have this, but I'll change that back to 10 in case you forgot what this position does. So now this other one we said is the spacing between items. So right now, if you change this to 200, 300, we only have one item. So you're not going to see any changes because we only have just one item here. Now let's dive in to the component. So we have this button here. We want to convert that to a component. So the reason why you need component in your design is if you have a design that you want to reuse it over and over again, so you can convert that into a component. And how do we do that? I'm going to click on the components icon here. So this is now a component. After creating a component, the next thing we want to do is to create instance of this component. So let me come again. This file we just created, take it to be a master file. So the instance now, it will be like the children of the master file. So the master file can control the properties of the instance files. So let's create an instance of this. The easiest way to do is to duplicate the master file. But I want you to take note of something here. On the component, you see, this is the sign for that. So if I duplicate this control D and I drag this out, this is an instance. So the instance have this diamond sign here. So this is how you can differentiate an instance from a component. This is a component while this is an instance of the component from the diamond shape here. So I'm going to duplicate this instance here again. So let's look at other ways we can create instance of this. So if I select this, okay, I don't have to select this. You can click on the asset files here. And then here you will see local components. And you see we have our button here because it's a component. I can drag it and then bring it here. So once you've done that, you can click back on the layer and you see we have a new instance. So this is our master file. Let's continue with this tutorial. So now let's make a change here and see if it affects all the children here from the master file, which is the component. Let's make this eight. You notice all the border radius have been changed. And let's go ahead to add a stroke to this. So here I will add a stroke. You notice every other item also have a stroke. So now this is our master file. You can also add or change the size of this. And you notice our button is responsive because we're using the auto layout. We can make individual changes to the instance. So let's say here, I select this now and I'm making this, let's say 30. See, I have this change here and then it's affecting just this instance. And let's say you make these changes, you can push it to the parent. So how do you do that? 
when you select the instance you come here we have this dot here select this and you can push changes to main component and I can push this and you see it's going to affect everything here and I can come in here and try to change the color of this text so let me select the color of the text and change it to black here let's make that red that's not visible black so after doing that here and we have this button which is different from the parents and you can decide oh I don't want that you can reset the colors or reset all the changes and it's back to the original design which is the parent so this is how you can create components and use the instance but what if from here I want this button to have its own designs let's say I want this button to have its own different border radius let's see for the border stroke here let's see we're changing that to red and I want it to be an entirely different button so you can detach this item from the master file so it's like you're freeing this from this so how do we do that you can scroll down where you have this here this frame click on this and detach instance this is the first way you can do that and you can also just click right click here and detach instance so now this button is now independent of the master file here if I should pick a rectangle let's say try to add that here let's say like an icon you see the other two items will automatically have that property but this has already been detached from the master file so if you're still watching this video and you're not subscribed please kindly hit the subscribe button in the next lesson we are going to learn about variants and how we can implement them with components so i'll see you in day six